In this flight review video, we will be flying Cathay Pacific CX714 from Singapore to Hong Kong. CX714 is a red tie flight and it departs from Singapore Changi Terminal 4 at 1.45 am. I reached the airport around 11.30 and the airport was pretty quiet with most shops closed. Cathay Pacific check-in counters are located at row 6 and most of them are self-check-in counters. There's also a dedicated line for first class and business class passengers. Immigration is also automated. After clearing immigration, you will walk along a row of duty-free shops. Some shops were still open, but I think it was closed before midnight. Let's check out the Cathay Pacific Lounge. The lounge is located right beside 7-Eleven. And to enter, you'll need to present the invitation card that is provided together with your boarding pass. The lounge in Singapore has a similar design, concept and spaces such as the noodle bar. These are the offerings from the noodle bar. On the other side of the noodle bar, you'll find the bar counters and the sofas. Let's check out the other food options available. The toilet has a similar look as the Cathay Pacific lounges in Hong Kong. I decided to head to the boarding gate because the boarding gate is pretty far. Boarding time was pretty on time. I chose to sit at 18K, a window seat. A350 seat features a configuration of a 1 to 1 reverse herringbone. It features a 18 inch in flight entertainment screen. You can also swivel the screen to your angle. The leg room is also spacious, considering I'm 6 foot 2. You can find a blanket in front, any storage for you to store your personal items. The tray table can be pulled out from the side. The safety car and the in-flight magazine can be found on the side pocket. On 
inside you'll find the reading light, the seat control and the in-flight entertainment remote. you'll find a mirror and the in-flight entertainment headset. Right behind you'll find an international port and a USB-A to charge your mobile devices. The pillow is pretty puffy and it's by Benford. I personally like Cathay Seat Ergonomics provides a little privacy and on the side you'll see this depressed area design as a unrest. The crew went around serving the pre-departure drinks and the hot towels. was a red-eye flight, most passengers chose to sleep instead of having the in-flight meal. Let's take a look at the menu. After reaching cruising altitude, the crew will go around turning on the lights for passengers who are having their meals. I had the Vegetarian Oriental and Cafe Delight on the side. Let's check out the lavatory before I take a nap.
overall this flight was decent compared to my previous flight. The crew was friendlier and even engaged in a small talk about my diet. As a great air flight, most passengers were sleeping, including myself. I would definitely consider this flight if I want to arrive Hong Kong earlier in the morning to save time. Of course, it will be very tiring when I get there. Thank you for staying till the end. If you enjoyed this video, do give a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. See you!